Welcome to the Today in History channel, in today's video we will talk about the day. December 23, 1947. Invention of the Transistor. From the beginning, the process of inventing the transistor was oriented towards its industrial use. It was done in continuous interaction between experiments, hypotheses and mathematical formulations of behaviors, with a large number of specialists from different fields three of whom obtained the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1956 for the task dash, with business support, but with freedom of research. Along with the development of radar during World War II, it was one of the models of technological innovation that guided the formation of large centers of research and technological development that still persist. The first patent for a transistor, the field effect or FET, was registered in Canada by the Austro-Hungarian physicist Julius Edgar Lilienfeld, in 1925. The device, on which Lilienfeld did not publish any scientific report, does not appear to have been manufactured commercially, but it was studied by the inventors of the bipolar junction transistor. The invention of the transistor was the culmination of a development program started in 1946 at the Center of Scientific Research and Technological Development of the companies American Telephone and Telegraph, ATT and Western Electric, with the Bell Telephone Laboratories, in the United States, commonly known like Bell Labs. During the Second World War, the United States and the United Kingdom encouraged by similar Hitler policies made huge investments in scientific and technological developments for military use the largest of which was the Manhattan Project, which brought together some of the most prominent physicists and engineers of the time and ended with the manufacture of the first atomic bomb and the development of the radar. At that time, electronic devices were based on a type of essential component, thermionic valves, among which the different variants of the triode stood out, responsible for the processes of amplification and modulation of currents and electromagnetic waves. The triodes were then bulky, generated a lot of heat, and did not work well at the high frequencies needed for equipment like radar. Before the war, researchers at Bell Labs had studied the electronic properties of semiconductors, including physicists William Shockley and Walter Bratton. Their laboratories were able to produce crystals from these materials and determine their basic electrical properties. Most of these experiments would be done with germanium crystals. Shockley convinced the director of Bell Labs of the importance of creating a department especially dedicated to the development of semiconductor devices. In 1946, the project was launched and the theoretical physicist John Bardeen was recruited with two Nobel Prizes in Physics and one of the main founders of Solid State Physics Dash, who then worked at the research center of the American Navy. The main goal that Shockley set for himself was the development of an amplifier device equivalent to the triode but exclusively based on semiconductors. In 1947, the first successful germanium transistor was produced, with a similar contact tip encapsulated system, but more stable and smaller than the CAT's mustache diode. In 1948, the first bipolar junction transistor was obtained. Today, transistors albeit made of silicon, with a different construction method, the CMOS have enabled compact electronic devices with low electrical consumption batteries and are the main protagonists of the current electronic revolution. If you like the video of a force subscribing to the channel, like, comment and share. To receive new videos, see you next time.